Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, The Grey Witch's Garden. This is my very first post, and I am the Grey Witch. Today I am going to give you a quick tour of my altar and discuss setting up an altar for your magical workings and worship and all that kind of stuff. Now, unless you follow a specific sect of Wicca or certain kinds of paganism, then you can set up your altar pretty much however you like. I know there are certain types of Wicca and certain branches of paganism where they require you to set up an altar specific to how they worship and practice. But for the most part, your altar is an extension of you and you can set it up however you would like. My altar is in the southern corner of my bedroom. It faces the south and it is just this little table and I have it decorated and set up with things that are specific for me and little figurines and things that um, are meaningful. I have for protection at the back, I have three gargoyle statues that you can see back there. I have candles set up for ritual that are um, a god and a goddess candle. And then I have some potion bottles. I have larger potion bottles that I have, but I do not keep them on my altar. Um, this one is empty currently. I am deciding what the perfect potion will be to go in there. This one here is moon water charged by the super moon. And this one is just herbs for protection and things like that. I have some oil diffusers right here that you can put a tea light in. I currently don't use them to diffuse oil. Uh, I have a lot of cats and it's just not safe. I have crystals in them right now. I do the crystal, crystal oracle and I keep the crystals for it in this one. And then in this one I just have some pretty little crystals for decoration. I have all my wands over here. I have just a silly silver one that was more for toys and more for show. And then I have my real wands for rituals and spells. Then I have in the center, I have a sea star that is set up as a pentagram. And I have earth, fire, water. I'm sorry, earth, air, fire, and water representations around the pentagram. Um, I have like rocks and I have pine cones and snakes for earth and I have this neat tusk I found out in the woods. I have a bird, a butterfly, and it's actually a raven bird, which is one of my totems. And then uh, an incense holder for air. For fire, I have candles and a witch doing spellcraft and a dragon. And then for water, I have dolphins, which are another one of my tea, uh, my totems. And I have seashells. I also have little rocks around my altar that are garden rocks that have words and Chinese symbols inscribed on them. And these are traits that I want to bring into my home and my family, such as longevity, serenity, harmony, peace, and fortune. I also have little boxes that you can keep spell ingredients in um, or potion ingredients. I have them on my altar so that if I am setting up a spell but I am not quite ready to perform it or a ritual, I can put the ingredients in the boxes and then my cats can't knock them over. I have an extra incense burner for stick incense and you can also use it for cone incense. And then I do pendulum readings. So I have my pendulums. And I have my pendulum card that I have drawn up, and I have it sitting there, and it's just very simple for doing readings. And I also have a pretty wolf paperweight. Wolves are another one of my totems, and this is to hold papers down, like if I'm doing a spell, or if I'm writing something and I need to weight it down. This is the basic setup of my altar. And you can set yours up however you want. You can have a lot more on yours. You can have less. You can have a big table, a little table. Direction doesn't matter. 
The only thing I would say really does kind of matter is if you have it facing a certain direction and you set up something like this for representation of the elements and directions, try and correspond where you set your things up to the direction they are facing. Other than that, I really, however you want to set it up and however you're comfortable setting it up, that is what I personally would do. And here is an overshot of my altar. And that's just how mine is set up. Thank you all for viewing. Please go down and hit the like button. And if you would like to see more videos, subscribe to my channel. I will be putting out videos several times a week. My next video, I'm going to try and do a tour of my magical corner and my supplies so that you can see kind of what I'm working with. Um, and once again, thank you for viewing. Have a great day.